Hey guys, it's Dan Strong with Excel VBA is Fun. Thanks for joining me. I've got a quick tip for you. We had a gentleman who was having an issue with his workbook, and I'll show you the macro that he uses with this button right here. Um, it's the only macro on this workbook. Basically, he goes under this sheet, he selects uh, 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 this text right here, this range, he dot copies it, and then he goes to the other sheet right here, and basically um, he does an end uh, dot end XL up and he says it does not take him so I'm gonna press F8 right now and I'll show you it's gonna do XL up starting from B 999,999 going all the way up to the nearest non-adjacent cell he said it didn't work so you've hit F8 everything looks fine but look look down here it doesn't go to this number um, 156 here it goes one two three four several cells below that so that's what we need to investigate and then of course it just selects that's it goes down one cell and uh, it's supposed to paste whatever's copied to the clipboard and then paste a little formatting and things like that um, but so we're gonna stop the macro I just wanna address this because this may come up so it's the same thing you can practice with the control keys hit control up and it stops right here so if I hit control up again it goes to the nearest non-adjacent cell control down so you see so there's something going on with these cells right in here and typically the that's kinda what happens when you copy and paste a lot back and forth unfortunately some of the cells get um, distraught with some of the pasting and they think that there still might be something lingering in that cell so it thinks that if you hit control up it needs to stop at this cell instead of the one that actually has a value in it so what you do it, well you can either stop using copy and paste and actually um, do you know looping through and having this equal that value from the other sheet and this equal that anyway or you can simply um, if you just want to go through here and hit the delete key and you'll see that those um, have cleared out anything that was lingering hit control up and it'll go to the cell that you actually want it to go so that being said if we um, if we go through the macro one more time uh, in fact, we could just press this button and it'll actually paste them on the correct line um, rather than going down here and starting there. So um, the problem is every time you paste it, it's going to have this one, two, three, four, five. And so we have the problem all over again because we pasted something and Excel thinks there's something in there. So let's go ahead and resolve that problem really quick in the code. First of all, um, I guess if you're really dead set on copy and pasting, you probably don't want it to necessarily always use this range um, the reason being sometimes let's say sometimes it only goes to here and other times it maybe goes to here so what we could do is there's several different ways to skin that cat you might want to do um, equals max of these numbers and have these numbers kind of you know you could have a formula in each, each of these you know this one equals one if this is blank or if this is not blank or you might just do a loop through from for x is 1 to 20 and then basically if this cell is uh, blank then you know that's the last one and uh, and just grab the row so let's just go that that method here let's go ahead and name this range I'm gonna call it um, end range and so that way we could just say for each cell uh, end end range end range so let's hit alt f11 let's make a new uh, let's make a new macro here um, actually no we don't need to by the way this is irrelevant selecting that cell if you're just going to select this cell but let's go ahead and find um, the actual end range instead of from 052 to r71 let's find what actual row that needs to be so let's do that right now for x equals, um, oh, sorry, for each cell in uh, this workbook dot sheets, and then the sheet name was goods in. So it's in that sheet, and the range within that sheet is called. What did we just call that end range? So we'll we'll loop for each cell in that range. So hit uh, next cell and we'll go ahead and tab through here just to indent that a little bit. So for each cell in that range, well the first cell is going to be this topmost one, say June 16. So 
if the current cell that we're talking about is not uh, 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 if the current cell is empty then we'll do our end if so if the current cell is empty um, I would say then actually we can take this off no I take that back so we don't want to exit four immediately on one line we probably want to have multiple lines here so if that cell that we're talking about is currently empty then we're going to take that cells uh, row and we're going to trap that into a variable so we're going to say um, my end row we we'll just say my end my end row equals that current cells dot row so and then we're going to exit four because we don't need to keep looping we know that that is the edge um, so well actually no that's not true you may want to keep going in case there's a blank for some reason and then um, there's a non blank and then uh, uh, yeah another non blank so let's do that and then whatever the uh, last one that was blank should be the end row well that may not that may not be right. It's 1.30 in the morning, so my brain might not be working right. Let's go ahead and loop through this immediately. Let's hit F8 for each cell in that range. The first one is going to say 6-1-2016. So let's go ahead and scooch this over so we can take a peek at our range that we're actually looping through over here. So if that cell is blank, well, it's not, so that's fine. So if it's blank, da, 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 da. right now we're thinking that this uh, row 65 should be the last one. But let's just see how this all adds up here. So let's go ahead. I'm just going to hit Control F8, and that's going to actually zoom until this is a true statement. It'll actually take me straight to right here. Control F8. Oh, no, 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 no. No, it sure didn't. So does that mean that the cell was never considered blank? Hmm. What about the cell dot value? <laughs> well, let's try it again. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and this is 12, 1, 2016, so that's the bottom most one. So that cell is not blank. And here's the next row, which we're hoping it should trigger that, and it does not consider that blank. Mercy. Um, let's go ahead and see what the what kind of value the cell is actually packing. So debug.print in the immediate window. If you don't have the immediate window, um, you can hit Control G. Uh, debug.print, and we're going to see what the cell dot value is. And let's hit Enter. So on the second line here. Okay. So we see that there's clearly several spaces or tabs in that cell backspace 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 so that's the cell dot value looks blank here but there's actually something going on there's several spaces or whatnot so let's do this for the sake of saving some time instead of saying if the cell value equals blank which obviously it will not be blank we're going to see if it's a, a date so we're gonna say if is date Basically, is this a date? Is the cell a date? If is date of the cell is true, then, and etc. So now we see that the cell's value is several spaces. All right. So let's go back and backtrack a little bit. So, uh, so that's fine. Each time that the date is actually a date, it will take that and use that as the ending row. And if it uh, if 
finds instances when it is not a date anymore, it will not give you the end row. And so that works out just fine. So let's see here. 7 1 2017 is right there. Maybe one more. Here it is. Here's the last one. So that's going to be your final row, is row 65. Then the next time it comes around, it's going to say, hey, is this millions of spaces a date? No, it's going to skip that. So now the end row is still 65. So that's perfect. And so it will be. So now we move on to here. And so we're going to say from the range is 052 all the way to R instead of 71. In this case, it would be R65. So we'll use an ampersand to join the R with the value that we know is 65, which is my end row. And that will actually be dynamic. So uh, 052 through R65 dot select. So let's try that. Oh, look, that's the row that we actually need to copy. So dot copy. Then we go to the other page and we select the actual last row which we need to fix this one time. Let's do that line once more. But then furthermore, it's going to be fine. So let's see here, what have we done wrong now? Selection.paste special. Did we lose the copy? I got to change in things. Let's go to selection.copy. Go back here. And now we should be fine. And uh, pasting the formatting now. And that will actually work perpetually. So then the next day, um, if we try this again, you'll see that it'll actually transfer in the correct spot. So just to do our due diligence, we know it should be 2708. So 2708. And it did paste it into 2708. So that's pretty much how you do that. Yeah, there we go. Anyway, thanks for watching and God bless, guys.